Hey, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I'm going to show you something very fun and something that I just found out myself too. And uh, this is an industrial sewing machine, Juki DDL8700, one of the most popular sewing machines uh, for high shank that you have so, so many different type of feet for it. But this machine is only a straight stitch. They come in different styles uh, for uh, sewing heavy material, denim, jeans, and light, and so forth and so on. And I had, we, I got, received many, many questions regarding if we could use this machine in a free motion style sewing for doing embroidery and doing free motion, just free motion. And I, myself, I had no idea if we could do this, but I went after this and I, it took me a couple of months, but I found out and voila. I ordered the feet, high shank, free motion feet that worked with this Juki or Newtech or Conso or Brother or Kansa, as long as the high shank and the industrial sewing machine, this is the feet unit. Now, this is high shank and uh, the opening is quarter inch right here, but it's closed, meaning that this is a closed circle right here, but it's quarter inch and obviously this one is clear so you could see where you're going and what you're doing and this one is uh, steel and metal and it, the type of food is a little bit different than the other type of food feed that we have and i'm going to show you what is the difference see these are the regular high shine feet and it has only one opening up here so your screw could only be tight here to the needle bar but with this one there is a slot here, meaning you could adjust the needle bar up or down. The reason is because when you do embroidery or you're doing free motion, you're doing it on quilting or fluffy stuff like this. That's what I'm trying to do. And could be high or low. And even though you could adjust the pressure from here, which is the needle bar, I mean, this is the needle bar pressure or foot bar pressure. You could always adjust your bar from here, up or down. But this is a bar, this place foot here, you could adjust the screw up or down, meaning it could be up or down. So what you do, you just take the feet out, use the same screw, I already put one in, and I did drawing here, you know, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a good, good quilter or free motion guy. I just don't even know how to sew. But I did some sewing here, but it's in white color. So what I did, I changed the thread and I'm gonna show you how it works. Oh, one more thing that you have to know. You have to drop the feed dock in the bottom. And how you drop the feed dock? You just turn the dial, the stitch length to zero, and then you're good to go. And then if you see you still need more room, for the foot to come down, you could either adjust this one right here, the foot, or from here. Right, Jasmine? Yes. Okay, Jasmine is my assistant today. So here we go. Now, this is a heavy fabric. You're gonna hear click, click, click because the needle is going through the uh, fabric, but I'm gonna try to do my best to show you how it's done. You see? Let's say I wanna to go to, I don't know if I'm doing this the way you guys want me to do, but that's how it is, see? Let's say you wanna, this is free motion, that's what it is, everybody. I mean, don't laugh at me, but that's how, I know you guys are gonna call and say that you don't do it like this, but that's how it, the setup is, you see? That's called free motion. And I had so many people call me and ask me, and I'm so happy that I did it. And here we go. This is a free motion. We just turned the sewing machine, an industrial sewing machine, to a free motion quilting patchwork type of sewing machine. This is the foot. I have it already on our website. Uh, go ahead and check it out. And there is two types, regular one and clear one. Watch our YouTube videos, www.goldstartool.com. Thank you for watching. Again, this one, this foot is for patchwork quilting and free motion for all industrial sewing machine. Thank you for watching.